Welcome to the Super Eagles Watch Podcast, powered by Hotspots, the official media partners of the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Victor Godfrey with the wise men in the studio with me talking about the hot boys, the hot men, hot, hot men, oh, hot boys, uh, you boys hot or boys men. Or we have Olawale Adigo, of course, the Bajide Guerrero. Yes, yeah, the hot men or boys? Which one are we? Um, hot men. Hot, hot, yeah, yeah. Yes, hot men. Hot How men. are you guys? You know, boys, boys, boys will make you look as if you know we see the group. Hot men. Although he has a boyish look. Though. Men that. No, we, we, I think we do have we both. We, why, no, why you do have the boyish look. Actually, you why look like, like a baby. baby. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you, Baba? Why don't you look like a baby? <laughs> All right, so guys, um, no, of course the focus is on the Super Eagles and their quest for glory. Can we get that fourth star on the badge, even though our badges don't have any stars on yeah. them? Yeah, but. It won't uh, be we should have like at least three stars. Yeah, yeah right? we should have something like that. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Um, 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 is it is it a Nigerian thing though? Or is it African thing? It's an African thing. We don't have stars don't have, no, to show. Sure. Other countries sure? have stars. I think Egypt right. does. Yeah, I think Egypt does have I, I, seven oh, stars. I think it's maybe sure. the kit makers. I think the kit makers Possibly. have their preference. No, they should start giving us our stars. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. give us our flowers. Yeah, you know, three yes. stars. Yes, talking three about stars. giving stars flowers and stars. The player who is the best player in Africa. Talking about Victor James Osime. Uh, two games, he one goal. Oh, nice. Yeah, his middle name okay. is James. Yeah, yeah Fam's and Victor again. Yeah, yeah, listen, 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 listen. Listen, listen. You know the guy said Victor. Victor is the Victor is his name. Victor, 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 Victor Pesero. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Now, Victor James. James will see me. You will not find Victor Wanyama <laughs> because, because it's Wanyama. <laughs> okay, I get it. So, two games, one goal. Um, but the question now is, is he playing under pressure? Because there are many chances that you expect him to tuck away normally. Mm. He's a clinical striker. Mm. But in the last few games with the Super Eagles, it's been a bit wistful. Pressure is part of it. I like I like what the gentleman said. You know, he said, "Oh, being African footballer of the year doesn't change anything." I won it in December 11. It's now mm-hmm. in history, mm-hmm. but he's under pressure. Um, yes, it's fine for him not to see the pressure, it, and subconsciously for footballers, while it, it's important that you don't deal like in like you treat the pressure like it's there. Mm. Subconsciously, it's somewhere in your head. Because again, you have the target on your back. Mm. If you have done some things before in your career that is significant, automatically, targets are on your back. I mean, if, you have, if you've crossed the 100-goal mark in your career, which obviously may must have in his career now, I think should have had Chalera, Lille, yeah, Napoli, it's, it's Super Eagles. Clo- closing in on that. There about, is, is it that closing or just over the 100 mark? It, it means that you've scored a ton load of goals in your career and that mm-hmm. comes with pressure yeah mm-hmm. so i think i like his mentality but then again is he a guy that can flourish under pressure i think so yes uh because i don't think there's a bigger pressure yet in his career than leading napoli to that very first scudetto in god knows how many years that's well, a lot of pressure years, yes. for you to be able to deal with that alongside karashkelia alongside politano zielinski and he was the one who spared it and a lot of people felt he was the best player in that team which mm-hmm. i think i don't think he was i think far was but bottom line, it was that's, yeah. That's I another think, debate for another debate. We'll, 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 we'll leave that for another yeah, that That's why I said I don't, I don't think he was. We'll leave that one. I think Farah was the better player. I was the best player in that team, you know. But for him to spare, and he was not there as a shadow figure. Mm. It was top of the pile. It was the peak of the pack in that particular Napoli team, and that just tells you the quality he brings. That he knows how to deal with pressure. The question, but the question now is, how soon can we get the lethal? Osime with his shiny scoring boots back? And I think it will be soon against Vinny himself. Yeah, I mean pressure is a good thing. It just depends on how you channel it, you know. And um, for Victor Sime, um, I mean, it's his second game of the tournament. And trust me, I think that that guy is cracking a bit on the pressure. Mm. I mean, these are goals or these are chances that Prime Osime buries, right? I mean, well, look Prime at Osime, I think he's still in his prime. Yeah, I, no, I mean, yeah. I'm yeah. Much, yeah, it's the prime we've seen. I'm, I'm saying yeah. that yeah. Osime is in yeah. the mood. The okay. prime yeah. we've seen. Against Equatorial Guinea, Supreme have scored twice. Yeah. Against. Um, you know, the, 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 the Cote d'Ivoire side also, I think he should have hit the target at, at least, least twice yeah. um, from a throw in from a liner and um, the, the pass from Lukman. Um, Ar- Ar- Ademola Lukman as well. And even the penalty. Mm. I'm thinking that you've won the penalty and you want to pick up the ball and say, hey, I'm I Africa's it. top shot yeah. and I want to score this. But it goes so, to so that, mean, so that means he is under pressure. Exactly. That's I mean, what, Babaji that's Day, because you said, you said yourself that. I mean, he he gave the honors yeah. to you know uh, uh, Ekong to mm. take the penalty, especially when he was the designated penalty t- uh, taker. So, so that means there's but, something in the back of his mind then. That what could I, be I, the problem? I've, I've always thought that true Ekong was that, but until Wally said, "Oh, he's the number one designated penalty taker." That 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 maybe because again pressures. 
people people react. You know, he lost his last. I think he lost his last penalty with like, the Super Eagles, um, yes. and that was playing at the back of his mind, which is pressure as well. Now it's time to hear from the man himself, Victor James Oshime, on the quote-unquote pressure of playing at Africa's Football Summit as the best player on the continent, and also. We take a look at his thoughts on the final group game for the Super Eagles as they take on the Wild Dogs of Guinea-Bissau. Get a 100% bonus when you recharge your MTN line with your Momo account. Download the Momo app now or dash to 671 hash to enjoy. We know the Guinea, the Bissau, the way they play. You know, they, they've upset us in, um, in Abuja. Of course, just like the way people saw how we played against the Ivorians, we're going to bring all determination and all ruthlessness to the, to the Guinea Bissau uh, team. We will never underrate them because we know the way they play. But of course, I think the team, the team wants to win one on top of the group and make sure we, we continue to progress in the. In this in this competition, I think uh, we are ready. And personally, for me, I will always give my best for the team to win. I do not care if I score or I don't score. Of course, when I get my chances, I want to get, I want to bury them. Of course, but I think um, I am ready, and I'm going to give my all to make sure to make sure the team the team continue to win. I honestly don't know why people say pressure, pressure, being the best African player. I I see no reason why. Of course, there will be talks and all like that, but. This has come yeah, in December 11, 2023. I won it. It's been it's, it's in the history now. I think uh, I'm looking forward to my to my season and trying to do do so well for all my country. So for me, it, uh, there is no pressure. I don't, even there is pressure, I don't fall under any pressure. So for me, I don't care. It's important for me to to do well and, and make the team and make the team win. Can you fans me? <laughs> Can you fans me? I should go um, join the team. They should support me. I appreciate it. All of my money. See you in the budget. I appreciate it. Get a 100% bonus when you recharge your MTN line with your Momo account. Download the Momo app now or dash to 671 hash to enjoy. The fun never stops here on the Super Eagles Watch podcast. Victor Godfrey with the Hot Men. Now established yeah. the hot men, yeah. Wale and of course Babajide Guerrero. Yeah, I'm the hot guy that's under pressure. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> under pressure, Nigeria. Oh, under <laughs> pressure, <laughs> under pressure. <laughs> under pressure. Uh, do you remember the hot song? Oh yes, yes. 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 It's it's a classic. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Do you remember the guy who sang it? Who sang I, I said it's a classic. I, who sang I, can't, I can't remember his name, but I know the song. Oh, uh, Raski Mono, I think. Ah. Am I, am I right? Am I, am I right or am I right? You, you, am I right or am I right? You, you, you come to you. You come to you. You come to you. Come to okay, you. now, while we're still going back to nostalgic Nigerian music, let's talk about the current manager of the Super Eagles, uh, Joseph Peser. If I say his name now, you say I'm, I am pamsing him. Yeah, say his name. Say Joseph Joseph Victor Dos Santos Peser. Uh, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> Every time this guy says a name that has Victor, he says his full name. Yeah. So, so, in a way, he hides. He hides, he disguised, he will disguise his name and just put out and say, okay, Victor James, Victor James will see me. Just say, give me a call, give me a call, it's okay. Now, he, 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 when he got signed to, to manage the Super Eagles, mm-hmm. first thing was like, we're going to get our fourth title. That's what he was saying, that we should have won a fourth title by now. And I like that ambition from a manager, saying, first of all, we need to win a title. Um, your thoughts on perhaps... Is he the man that can do it? We've had three managers in the past, mm-hmm. two Nigerian, two foreign, foreigners. Can he do it? Can he be the fourth million, man? Million dollar question, right? Mm. Um, considering the fact that the managers that have led us to our glory, glories have been mixed. You know, um, we went with the foreign for the first one. Or to Gloria. Uh, to Gloria in 1994, we had um, the great Clemens Vester of 2013. We switched it up with um, with the late great with the late great Stephen Keshi. Stephen Keshi yes. Um, so now we're back with um, a foreign um, manager. But can you do it? That's the big question. I'm looking at the CV. How much has it done? Um, UEFA Cup with um, Sporting in 2004-2005. One Egyptian Premier League though. Um, okay. You know, about a few years ago, I think came sec. Also won the Tasa, um, the Liga. That's the cup in What's Portugal as well. Is the is the, is the Portuguese cup? Oh, right. So there's a bit <laughs> of there's a bit of silverware okay. uh, in there with um, Joseph Pesero. So it's very much possible. He's on the right track, right? Um, he started he started really well, but um, he has to take it one step at a time. You don't want to get ahead of yourself in the tournament. You take it one game um, at a time. You also need a slice of luck. You you like it or not? You need a slice of luck. And has he had a dose of that yet? Not really, because I mean, build up to the tournament. We've had a couple of players who have. 
pulled out. Opted out, in, injured, and that's not what you want when you go into a tournament like that. I, I don't mm-hmm. think we need a okay. slice. We need a very big portion. Of <laughs> it's not that big. Not, 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 not that big. Maybe right. just no, bro. Just trailer size. <laughs> <laughs> right, but I think Pacero. Um, sorry, Pacero. Pacero yeah. <laughs> is a car. <laughs> you know, I know everybody calls the man Pesero. Pesero. Yeah, but that's Pesero. a Nigerian way. Okay. You know, there's a Nigerian flavor of saying so, things. So, yeah, Jose, Pesero. Victor, Dos Santos, Santos Pesero. Pesero. <laughs> I think I, th- I think he's, he's a decent guy. I, I think he, just like the guy who employed him said, uh, Amaju, Amaju said, oh, when he saw Pesero, he was intrigued by the quality of African and Nigerian football. And his presentation. And his mm. presentation. Was recommended by Jose yes. Mourinho. Yes. And yeah. <laughs> so uh, pretty much, I, I think the, the guy knows the African game in a way. Um, testament to the fact that he was he was here in African soil, once something yeah. in Egypt, at all, like Wally said. Mm. But I'm not sure he's the guy. I feel we win this by a team and by him as well. But is he the guy for the long term? Some of his calls and tactical um, ingenuities or not has been has been very very disturbing. But the good thing was he has made up for that in the game against. Cote d'Ivoire. Um, Cote d'Ivoire. Well, well said, gentlemen. Uh, so, at this point in time, on Locker Room Extra, we do have the thoughts of the manager of the Super Eagles, Jose Pesero, and his views on the all-important final group game against the Wild Dogs of Guinea-Bissau. Get a 100% bonus when you recharge your MTN line with your Momo account. Download the Momo app now or dash to 671 hash to enjoy. I'm happy about the result. It was good for us. It's an important victory for us because we won't classificate. But uh, now we must forward uh, that game and prepare the next game against Guinea. What is important now is not the pass. Okay, the pass gives to us more motivation, more confidence. The confidence about our, our capacity, our potential. And now you must prepare with the demand, commitment, with the, the maximum focus for beat uh, Guinea. Um, this is more important than us. Rest well, eat well, focus in the, in the next match, focus in the training, focus in the, in the recover. Because it's more important now is the next match. Mm, you didn't classify it until now. You want to, to, to reach the first position in the group. And they go to do our massive for win for beat Guinea Bissau. You play with the um, Super Eagles until now ten match, only you lose one against Guinea Bissau. You won six, draw three, and lost one match. It's true, you deserve to win. You create a lot opportunities, but the football can happen everything. For that is uh, for that I say, the best point in this moment. Uh, after this good victory, nice victory, important victory, is what you must do in the next match. You don't want um, surprise in that match. You need to play well, create opportunity and score. It's our responsibility. You cannot avoid Guinea beat one time us, because our team is better than Guinea. Man, I wish you, you guys can see what happens when we go off uh, the, the air, if I can use that term. And nobody knows what he's talking about. Yeah, why yeah, yeah, you, right, yeah, yeah. You want to be exposed. You brought me back to the Super Eagles Watch podcast, by the way. Uh, we have uh, Wally and, of course, Judy in the house. Uh, Wild Dogs of Guinea Bissau. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he did it. I, mean, I kept it. I kept it. He did it. So Wally, I had to. There's been this temptation. <laughs> Every time you hear white dogs. <laughs> well, so if I say Super, super Eagles, do you, you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> now you can be a part of this fun of course join the conversation on social media all our social media platforms are appearing on your screen right now we'd love to hear your thoughts on all our topics today can victor simi play without pressure can joseph Pesero take us to glory let's know your thoughts my name is victor godfrey in the company of the hot men uh Guerrero, of course thank whoa, you whoa. so much for being a part of it come on <laughs> wally, wally, wally. come on <laughs> <laughs> wally. no in my head no eh? 
<laughs> when we are playing them, whenever we're playing them, I'll just be seeing I'll be seeing my pit bulls. I'll be seeing Rudy, Rod, Rusty, Blackie, all my dogs. Thank, That's what I'll be seeing now. Thank you so much dogs. for being a part of this. Oh, no, no more woo-woo again. I have right? to, I have to, I have to, <laughs> to let's do woo-woo to sign up. <laughs> One, two, ready, wait, go. Wait, wait. Super Eagles will play the wild dogs of Good in the Woo-woo. Alright. <laughs> now on that note, it is bye from us and bye for now. Woo-woo. <laughs>